I'm a I'm ghost. Let's zoom you out. So if you move from one side to the other. I'm a ghost trapped in the screen. Uh, my name's Sean Frayne. I'm co-founder and CEO of a company called Looking Glass Factory based out of Brooklyn, New York. And we make holographic displays like this puppy here, the Looking Glass Pro, referred to as a light field display. What's happening here is in this case we're showing 360 video taken with this camera called the Condal Obsidian. And inside the Looking Glass, that video is transformed into 45 different views of a three-dimensional scene so that a group of people can gather around the looking glass and see different super stereoscopic versions of that scene uh, without a VR air headset on. So the Looking Glass Pro retails for $6,000 and that comes with a built-in computer. So running to this right now yeah. is just power. Comes with a um, separate, oh, a separate, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a separate uh, 2D screen so that you can have Sort of 2D UI, enter in Wi-Fi passwords, mm -hmm. enter in a patient's name for medical applications, yeah. things of that nature. But it still can fold away um, if you want to deploy it in an application where you don't want to have that touch screen available. And it has a direct touch interface on the looking glass itself so that you can interact with 3D content in much the same way you would interact with um, you know, 2D content on an iPad. So can this take a micro SD card or SD card to show for dailies? For it does, yeah. yeah. So it has um, a few extra uh, USB ports, SD port, things of that nature. Oh my god, that feels awesome. That's so cool. So does this just work with um, stereoscopic video or does this also work with 360 video? I mean, this is 360 3D video. But does it work with monoscopic 360 videos? Uh, no, it needs to have some 3D component to it. If there is three, uh, 3D content to it, so if there's some depth map yeah, or yeah. other type of extractable depth information, then yeah. it will work. Because I see this being very useful for VR 180. So this is our um, entry level dev kit called the Standard Looking Glass. Um, it's smaller than the Pro, um, but we wanted a way that was uh, reasonably accessible to folks um, that wanted to play around in the land of the hologram. So the standard looking glass connects up to a computer. It has like a 1050 or 1060. Would it um, work on a Mac? Uh, it does work on a Mac slowly. Yeah, more okay. slowly. But so better to have a PC laptop. Okay. Yeah, uh, but it would work on a Mac, but we recommend a PC with a 1050 or 1060 um, uh, graphics card inside. Um, yeah, it's uh, $599. So 600 Yeah, 600 bucks. Very cool, very reasonable. So you can use it for 3D models too. Yeah, so this is an application made by a group called Simulia using our Unity SDK. Um, and it's like, it's a super realistic simulation of a heart. And you can do simulations of both um, complex living things, uh, but also mechanical parts, like mechanical stresses, uh, a component before you get it printed or fabricated, things of that nature. Does this currently work real time with Adobe or Photoshop or Maya, some of these applications that do 3D animation? Um, the only systems that we have a real time viewport for are um, Unreal and Unity right now. Mm -hmm. um, you can export from some of those things like Maya and have that run in the looking glass, um, like the, um, some of the uh, light field photos I'll show on the other side. Um, speak to that, um, but right now nothing directly with Adobe. So if folks go to our website, lookingglassfactory.com, they can see a lot of the software tools that are available for individual, non-commercial use um, for free, and uh, obviously for the pro for commercial use, those are then available. Very cool. Oh, so wow, it's your, your hand real time there, Messi. <laughs> That's pretty fun. So this is the Reggie Watts Intel uh, experiment. It's just awesome. Uh, so this showed at Sundance this year. It's probably one of my favorite VR experiences at Sundance. They should have had this showing outside to draw people in. Uh, so cool. 